Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. From legendary director Robert Zemeckis comes a tale of romance, espionage, and intrigue starring two of the world's sexiest people, Brad Pitt and Marion Cotillard. So why then, tell me, why is this film so dull? All of the elements are there. Talented cast, an obviously healthy budget, a scintillating premise, and a setting that calls to mind old-school epic romantic cinema. So really, I have to lay the fault right at the feet of Robert Zemeckis, who simply does not present the story in a compelling way. And look at the story he had to work with. In World War II Casablanca, Morocco, a Canadian intelligence officer played by Pitt meets up with a French resistance fighter played by Cotillard, where they pose as a married couple in order to infiltrate a party and assassinate a German ambassador. In the process of preparing for and executing the dangerous mission, they fall in love for real and return to his base in London to start a family as real-life husband and wife. After their daughter is born, Pitt's character is notified by British intelligence that his wife is now suspected of being a German spy and that he must set a trap to confirm her duplicity, at which point he must execute her himself or be hanged for treason. Does he go against orders and investigate himself? Does he tip off his wife and the mother of his child? And most importantly, since they were both very good at being spies, how can he fully trust that she hasn't indeed been playing him? Now that, my friends, is a great setup for a story, as laid out in those bullet points I just gave you. But as told on screen, it just doesn't work, because Zemeckis doesn't play those major bullet points with the emphasis that they deserve. He instead luxuriates in the details. This is a very good looking film and the fashion, especially Cotillard's slinky and silky evening gowns and nighties, and the well-composed wide shots, the overall feeling of the time period and setting, especially of the Moroccan desert and London during the Blitz, is really what I came away remembering the most about Allied. Otherwise, the major turns of the story, the aloof professional spies softening and falling in love, the decision to marry, the birth of their daughter, the sudden suspicion, and the various moves Pitt makes to confirm the truth about his wife, well, they all just sort of hit without much impact. They're glossed over, they're incidental. And the most important of these, the beginning passages that are meant to show us how these two fall in love, a love that must be strong enough and passionate enough to inform all of the characters' actions throughout the rest of the story, it's just so slow and aloof and restrained that by the time the characters decide to take their relationship to the next level, it doesn't feel earned. We, the audience, don't feel like these two are genuinely in love yet. And that's after we've seen them demonstrate their passion for each other. Indeed, perhaps the movie's best scene is when the two assassins decide on the morning of their mission to watch the sun rise while sitting in their car overlooking the Moroccan desert and then giving themselves over to passion while a sandstorm whirls around them. That scene, quiet and simple with no musical score, is the closest we get to seeing real connection between these two. And at that point, with no other build-up to their relationship, it feels more like lust than romance. And make no mistake, Pitt and Cotillard have chemistry for days. It's just that their actual love, such a crucial element to the story, is something that the characters talk about, but that we never really see bloom for ourselves. We never see or feel Cotillard's rough exterior cracking as she falls in love with Pitt, or even after she has a child. Now this does make it easier for the audience to doubt her allegiances late in the story, the way the story really wants us to, but it also makes it harder for us to buy the romance as the story goes along. And we really, really need to in order for the last half of the movie to work. We need to see that these characters fall for each other. Suffice it to say, the film is clearly a throwback to slow-paced adult dramas, even to the point of just one too many homages to Casablanca. But unlike Bridge of Spies from last year, which aimed at the similar demographic, Allied doesn't mind the twists of the plot for all of the impact that they deserve. Instead, things just sort of happen in this story, and then more things happen, and so on. There is some great talent here, both behind and in front of the camera, including brief but pointless appearances by talents like Lizzie Kaplan and Matthew Good. But all of that talent is absolutely wasted in what I think is Robert Zemeckis' most disappointing film since What Lies Beneath. Now, if you're, um, uh, of a certain age, let's say, and you saw the trailers for Ally and hoped that it signaled a grand return to old-fashioned epic filmmaking, a classic wartime drama with romance and intrigue and movie stars and fabulous costumes on beautiful movie sets, then, then you know what? You know what? You may find that Allied scratches that itch just enough for you, but for me, Allied provided only a few brief scenes of dramatic tension, enough to fill a small bag of popcorn, but not enough to get me emotionally invested in the story on anything but a superficial level. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us by clicking subscribe once you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Allied in the comments as well. Did this one do it for you? In a way that it didn't quite get the job done for me? Tell me all about it in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. J'aime!